Hey everybody, this is D Hunter bringing another action figure review. Today, we're going to look at the McFarlane DC Multiverse Peacemaker action figure. He's from the upcoming The Suicide Squad film. Peacemaker is played by John Cena. Very excited to have these figures before the movie comes out. GameStop.com has these figures in stock. They're $24.99 each, free shipping, and there's a little bit of a sale going on. So let's take a look at the packaging here. As you can see, 22 moving parts, McFarlane toys, ages 12 plus, DC Multiverse Peacemaker, collect build King Shark. This is the third of four figures. Here he's in the package, got a sword, got King Shark's arms. One side, Peacemaker from the Suicide Squad. Other side, simply says Peacemaker. At the bottom, there's a bunch of credits and there is a barcode in case that helps anybody. And the back side, Here's Peacemaker from the film, instructions how to build King Shark, and here is the rest of the wave. So with no further ado, let's open him up. And I did end up getting the entire wave of figures from GameStop. They were $24.99 each. A lot of the time GameStop will upcharge, they didn't this time. There was also a sale going on. I paid with shipping and taxes about $96 for these four figures. If you do the math, that breaks down to less than $20 a figure if you add King Shark. Pretty cool. All right, now that we got this guy out of the package, here he is with all his accessories laid out. He does come with a display stand, a collector's card, and then a sword. A sword? Why does he go with a sword, you ask? Well, Warner Brothers has this new mandate. All officially licensed DC figures cannot come with guns moving forward. Whether they're from McFarlane, Mafex, Mezco, Amazing and Gucci, SH Figure Arts, no guns anymore. And that is really going to put a damper on a bunch of characters. You can tell this guy was originally supposed to come with guns. He uses guns in the film. This guy has two gripping hands and they both have trigger fingers on them. Obviously McFarland had to swap out the sword due to Warner Brothers' mandate. That's pretty annoying. So this is Peacemaker. His real name is Christopher Smith. He's played by John Cena in the upcoming The Suicide Squad film. Peacemaker is described to by John Cena as a sort of douchey Captain America. He fights for liberty, justice, and peace, but he doesn't care how many people he has to kill to get it. Peacemaker looks at himself as a superhero. He's more or less a really dark vigilante that will go to extreme measures. I could see him being perhaps a villain in the Batman world, going way too far and Batman having to stop him. This is the first time anyone's ever made a 6 or 7 inch action figure of Peacemaker. This wave has three figures like that, Polka Dot Man, Peacemaker and Bloodsport. I absolutely love the obscure characters, especially the villains. This Suicide Squad wave is right up my alley. So let's take a look at him. He's got this incredibly dorky looking helmet. That is from some old school comics right there. And it is very sort of accurate to the comic, not just the film. God, it looks ridiculous. I know in the trailer he's being teased by Bloodsport, telling me it's a sort of toilet seat for a helmet. I will say the likeness for John Cena is pretty good, just the shape of the mouth and the nose, the eyes back there. Can't wait to check out the unmasked version. Going further down, he's got this sort of tight shirt on, I don't know, it's like an eagle here, I guess for America. The texture on his shirt is very nice, very strong arms, looks a lot like John Cena, double jointed elbows, double jointed knees, texture on the pants is pretty good, sort of khaki color. Almost looks like some regular clothing, but it seems to be some sort of hero type outfit. Overall, it's kind of a basic, boring looking figure, with the exception of this ridiculous helmet, but it's pretty cool. I'm very happy to add him to the collection. Now let's take a closer look at his face, at least what little of his face you can see around his helmet. There is an unmasked variation that's going to be a Target exclusive upcoming. Can't wait to see how good that likeness is. I personally think. I see John Cena in this. I think the likeness is there. What do you guys think? Drop me a line in the comments below. Now let's look at his accessories. And let's start off with the boring stuff. Here's his display stand. Typical McFarlane stand. Black perfect circle. DC logo at the bottom. One peg for the pegles on his feet. Very thin. Very basic. Now let's look at his collector's card. Here's an image of Peacemaker from the Suicide Squad film. You can see John Cena there, that crazy ridiculous helmet. P 
Peacemaker from the Suicide Squad. And there's a little description on the back if you want to read that. Go ahead and pause now. Now let's look at his sword. One of the most inappropriate accessories for this guy. The blade itself looks pretty decent. Got a little bit of sculpting grip on the handle there. Not a bad sword, but this guy should have come with the guns he used in the film. Here's Peacemaker holding his sword. He can hold it with either one hand or with two. Now I saw a pretty funny post from a guy at the Fushwarms. He posted a picture of Peacemaker and Bloodsport holding their swords through their trigger fingers. The guy said something like, Well, they put their guns in their hands. Am I doing it right? Definitely made me chuckle a little bit. And one McFarlane figure that can really benefit with this sword. That'll be the 1984 Wonder Woman. She didn't come with the sword or the shield as she didn't use them in that film. But it's great if you're going to use them with the Justice League figures. And if McFarlane can't give us guns with their Peacemaker figure, I'm just going to have to supply my own. Now don't get mad at McFarlane for not including guns. That's a dumb mandate from Warner Brothers. I've seen some people posting they're not going to support these figures because they don't have guns. Well, if it was a choice between not getting these figures at all, or getting them without guns, I'll pick getting without guns any day of the week. Here's a bunch of different pistols and a bat. I'm going to get Peacemaker. In the trailers for the film, he used some sort of a pistol or revolver and it had an elongated barrel. Not as long as this Joker one here. Maybe about the size of this one, but it wasn't all black. Here's a six-shooter from McFarland Fortnite, and then two pistols from McFarland Fortnite. Also have this bat here. I feel like I thought I saw Peacemaker using a bat in the trailer, but I could be wrong. It was all happening so fast. So this first pistol here, this is from a McFarland DC Multiverse Joker figure. The barrel is definitely too long. Maybe I can customize it to be the right length. Until the movie comes out next week, I really don't have a very good idea of what exactly he uses for the majority of the film. And I'm not sure what line this pistol came with. It had the elongated barrel, so I threw it in my bag of Joker accessories. This isn't the right color, but it's about the right size for what I remember seeing in the trailer. And this is a six-shooter from McFarland's Fortnite line. He didn't exactly use a six-shooter in the trailer, but something kind of similar. And here he is, holding a couple of regular type pistols. These are also from McFarlane's Fortnite line. Then, here's Peacemaker holding a bat. You've got a wide variety of stuff you could give this guy. Now that we've taken a pretty good look at the figure, his accessories, and some other accessories you can use to enhance this guy, now let's check out his height. From bottom to the top of his head, sitting at about 7.4 inches tall, which can translate to a hair under 19 centimeters, and if you go to the very top of the helmet, about 7.5 inches tall. Now let's check out his articulation. Starting with his head here, of course, it can rotate from side to side. He can look up and down about that much. Pretty impressive. Can tilt his head from one side to the other. Give you a nice amount of personality. Shoulders on a ball joint. Goes out way more than 90 degrees. Up, down, around, all that good stuff. He does have that signature McFarland butterfly joint. Can't really see it very good, but it is in there between his shoulder and chest area. Just increasing the range of motion there. He's got a bicep cut below that. Double jointed elbows below that. And they honestly look hideous the way they cut that, at least on that portion. Just really, really bad job with that elbow. Wrists can rotate around and it's going to be hinged as well. He's got this sort of soft goods on top of what's underneath. You can see the texturing on it. It's weird, almost like the same texturing underneath there. I believe he has a ball joint here and here, and they're kind of allowing you to utilize both of them, even with this thing on top. Can rotate around. Ball joint down here for sure, rotate around, forward and back, and he definitely is able to use that one as well. Legs, they go out about this far. Not a ball joint, but a similar type concept. Rotation, not too bad there. Then go forward, about that far, not too much. Back, pretty much not at all. He's got double jointed knees below that. His ankle here goes forward and back. Can rotate, can tilt and rock as well, although mine feels like it needs a little hot water to help it there. And he has toe articulation. Sure, he gets a good range of motion of his elbows. 
God, do they look awful. As I understand it, Bloodsport and Peacemaker in the film are having a competition, kind of showing off who's tougher, who's better at what they do, talking crap to each other the whole time. They're both expert marksmen. I even remember a part of the trailer where I assume Bloodsport said something smart to Peacemaker. Peacemaker pulls his pistol out and shoots Bloodsport in the head. Bloodsport, of course, has his bulletproof helmet, so it's not going to kill him. But it's damn sure going to piss him off. Here's King Shark and the team of figures from The Suicide Squad. So far, McFarlane has given us these five figures. There has been no announcement or any tease about any further figures, but there's about 16 more characters they can make from this film. I really hope they trickle a few more out at least. Now let's check them out next to some other action figures. Starting off, next to some other McFarlane at DC Multiverse figures. Here are all the regular figures from McFarlane's The Suicide Squad Wave. Peacemaker is the tallest figure. Add King Shark to the mix, and Peacemaker no longer can hold that title. And here he is, next to all six of the heroes from Justice League. The Justice League film is in the DC Cinematic Universe, the same world that the Suicide Squad belongs in. Then, here he is next to all the figures I have from the recent McFarlane DC Multiverse Zack Snyder's Justice League wave. Hoping to complete this soon. And here he is next to the Wonder Woman 1984 wave. These figures are also from the DC Cinematic Universe. Here's Peacemaker next to Arrow. Arrow is the only live action McFarlane figure that's not from the DC Cinematic Universe. He's from the TV Arrowverse. And here's Peacemaker, next to Mattel's version of the Suicide Squad from the first film. Now let's check him out, next to some other John Cena figures. Here he is, next to an older, Jax Pacific wrestling John Cena figure. Then, next to some Mattel, WWE basic John Cena figures. And here, next to some Mattel, WWE elite John Cena figures. Then, next to Mattel, WWE ultimate John Cena. And in case anyone was curious to see how he looked with the Mattel Ultimate John Cena head on the McFarlane body, I think it looks pretty damn good. I can't wait to get the unmasked version of Peacemaker. Curious which head looks better, which company makes a better likeness, McFarlane or Mattel. And here are all of my 6 and 7 inch John Cena action figures. Now let's check them out. Next is some action figures from different various companies to see how he fits in, both scale and style-wise, in case you want to know which lines you can mix him with. Since he's a McFarlane figure, they're typically the 7-inch scale. I'm going to start off my comparisons with some of the larger action figure lines I collect, and work my way smaller. Here he is, next to some of his McFarlane Toys brothers. In front of you are five different action figure lines, all for McFarlane toys, all 7-inch scale. Then, next to some more McFarlane toys. These are for some various video game properties. And now, next to some Jack specific wrestling figures. And here he is, next to some DST or Diamond Select toys. Then, next to some DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures. And here he is, next to some NECA figures. Then, next to some Mattel wrestling figures. And now, next to some Jazzwares AEW wrestling figures. And here he is, Next is some Mezco 112th cloth soft goods action figures. Then, next is some Mattel DC Universe Classics and Multiverse figures. And here, next is some Mafex figures. Then, next is some Hasbro Marvel Legends. And here he is, next is some SH Figure Arts action figures. And finally, next is some Jazz Wars Fortnite figures. So overall, he's a pretty cool figure. I think the likeness is definitely there. He totally captures that over-the-top, absolutely ridiculous old-school villain or hero look. That helmet is just ridiculous, and that's part of the appeal of it. The figure's sculpt and paint job are excellent, no issues there. He has very good texturing on his shirt and pants. His accessories are garbage. He shouldn't come with a sword. He should have the gun from the film, but that's out of McFarlane's control. His articulation is pretty nice, everything you'd expect from a McFarlane DC Multiverse figure, but I absolutely hate how they executed the elbows. If I were to rate this guy, probably going to give him a 7.5 out of 10, but the fact that he comes with a sword instead of guns is going to drop to a 7. 
So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add it to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys real soon.